All right, the spring anime season, I would say, is moving along quite nicely. You know, you got new seasons of beloved anime. Then you got the new anime that has been pretty solid for the most part. But there's one anime that nobody's talking about at all. It doesn't have the eyes on it that it kind of deserves. And that's a viral hit. Now, viral hit, to summarize it in one word, is basically... Well, sir! the anime look the obvious answer is in a stack season like this it's very common for anime to go under the radar to just get lost in the sea of all these different anime especially since it's a mama that's not tower god god of high school or solo leveling plus you also have windbreaker that's a very similar to it that just drips wagginess and oozes flashiness i mean when you compare the two shows windbreaker is seemingly the better anime or the, at the very least the more interesting looking anime you know better art style and animation choreography characters character designs and main character but see i don't think that's true personally i enjoy viral hit way more than windbreaker especially after episode 7 of windbreaker see these two characters the current bad guys as of right now you know they were cool and somewhat interesting until they went into the backstory i guess sakura was right <laughs> I could go on and on comparing the two, but that could be a separate video after they both finish airing. Now, if you don't know what Viral Hit is or what it's about, basically you have our MC Hobbin, who's a scrawny poor kid that's getting bullied and used for content for YouTube, I mean, NoobTube videos. To make things more depressing, Hobbin's mother is sick and in the hospital. Surely they'll ease up on- Nah, they need the paws to put on them. Well, after fighting one of the bullies that was live streaming at his house, the fight goes unintentionally viral because they both thought the live stream ended. I forgot to mention before all of this, they both thought that they should start their own YouTube channel. So they both come to an agreement to start a channel about standing up to bullies. That's just a short summary to sell you on it. If any of that sounded interesting to you, highly recommend you give this anime a chance. It's very enjoyable. But let's go deeper. Why did Hobbin agree to do this? Well, like I mentioned before, Hobbin's mother is in the hospital and with no father in the picture, it's up to him to pay the hospital bills. So after finding out that he could be making money on Monty videos and potentially how much he could be making off of them why not this also in turn leads him to decide he's done working at his fast food job but that's not the only reason he's doing this he also doesn't want to be scared anymore he doesn't want to be a coward he wants to be more confident in himself he wants to become a stronger person both mentally and physically there's two good things that come out of him going down this path one he finds this random channel with no views that's all about teaching you how to fight and two he finds out he has unspoken riz I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna what? myself because the day he tells his boss, hey, yo, fuck you in this bum ass job, I quit, pussy. One of the girls that works there asks, Line, huh? <laughs> Yeah, he got the juice. We'll come back to these two points in a little bit though. Because you're probably wondering, okay, that's cool and all, but why the fuck did he agree to make a new two channel with one of the bullies he's fought? See, the crazy thing is he's also a victim. His name is Snapper. He's a cameraman for the real bully, which by the way, this is a grown ass man anyways the reason snapper picks on hobbin is because he doesn't want to be in the same position as him he just wants to fit in so he can have an easy school life and not get beat up which is a very shitty thing to do but he is a good cameraman and he is the one that comes up with the idea what their content is gonna be about at first he does have scummy intentions he just wants money but they actually become friends and is developing into a romance <laughs> Use a freaky ass nigga! Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The art style and the animation. The art style isn't bad, it's just in the style of the manhwa. And I know most people are either not a fan of that style or not used to it. It can be jarring at first, which is understandable since a lot of people are used to current anime art styles. Now the animation outside of the fighting is fine, but but so far with the fights that have happened, it's very weak. Not in terms of the quality of the animation, it's more the lack of animation. Because if it's a single punch or a kick, for 
some reason the studio decided to just make it a frame of the attack and like a close-up of the impact of it which is a really odd choice to do i know that will definitely turn people off from watching or continuing this anime hopefully when the important height fights happen they actually animate it and it's choreographed okay i almost forgot to mention this but one of the big reasons why i think this anime is underrated is that when it comes to the social media aspect of the show instead of shoving it in your face that it's bad it causes brain rot it's more of an undertone of the show throughout the episodes you see how much power and influence the age of content creation has on people we see people living these fake lives having personas just for the views we see that even if you get exposed for doing something horrible you'll find a following somewhere we also see the negatives are blown up fast you know people want to mooch off you with collabs or you get recognized out on the street very easily but there's also the dark side of things that come with this which we've seen a glimpse of in episode 6 this gives us an idea where the anime might potentially go now you probably have an idea where things might go but it's much worse than what you're thinking because the manhwa at some point goes in a much crazier and darker direction that i honestly did not expect i also did not expect to find that out anytime soon i'm not gonna spoil anything i wouldn't consider what i'm gonna talk about spoilers i guess proceed with caution well first if you see my videos before you know i don't mind romance i like some romance here and there so because of that i ended up skimming through the whole manhwa yeah technically i didn't read it i only read the chapters that contain romance you know i was just very curious to see where it was gonna go i didn't want it to ruin my enjoyment from the anime you know was there gonna be some bs some fuckery was hoping gonna fumble or was she gonna do him dirty all i'm gonna say is they didn't do a bad job but it could still annoy some people oh and the fighting channel yeah it plays a very big role that's all i can say now the characters i probably should have talked about earlier there really isn't too many relevant or important characters as of right now outside of hopping and snapper we have bami who is a love interest she's a big mystery why does she like hopping is it because he blew up on youtube or is it some kind of joke all i will say is pay attention to the way she talks or worse things then you have musong he's hopping's classmate and coincidentally bami's childhood friend he also does mma the real question is is he a w man's then there's this girl i don't know how to say her name she was recently introduced in episode 5 she becomes the editor for the videos we don't know anything about her except that for some reason she talks like an old man <laughs> What the f does that mean? There's two other characters we've been introduced to, but it would kind of be spoilers to say who they are because you wouldn't think they would be really relevant to the story. So all I can say is at first you might hate or dislike them, but they turn out to be W characters. Again, you definitely should give this anime a watch. I think if you're fine with or can get past the art style and animation, I think you'll find that this will pleasantly surprise you. I don't know. It has a certain charm to it. It has its comedic moments. Nanda? Hey dog, stop yapping and show us your meat or I'm gonna crash out. <laughs> moments of overcoming your weaknesses and the little romance moments if you care about that. Even though Hoban can be an idiot sometimes, we also see the good in him, who he potentially really is at the end of the day. We're slowly seeing his character development into a brave and courageous person. Now, I will say what's even more sad about all this is that because it's underrated, this will most likely not get another season. Unless another studio picks it up that's really good at animated fight scenes, which would be very lovely. Because throughout the manhwa, they do introduce a few different fight styles, like Taekwondo, boxing, I think wrestling or sumo wrestling, and probably a few more that I missed when I skimmed through it. So, not to sound like a broken record, but watch the anime that after the this season is over read the manhwa which is probably what i'll do or honestly just start with the manhwa if that's what you prefer it did just recently end too so it must be a sign now do you agree or disagree is viral hit underrated but you know what's not underrated and probably the best anime this year nothing comes close to it free reign watch this video to find out why